Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions. And today I'm going to take you through an edit of a newborn. Uh, this just happens to be my newborn. And uh, the image was taken by Robin Long. And I'm going to use the Picture Perfect Mega Set today to do a very quick little edit and show you a few fun things I do with newborn photos. And the first thing I'm going to do with this one here, I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to clean up a couple of little, um, little blemishes and flaky skin. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm hitting Command, Option, and Shift, and N uh, to create my new layer. You can also just click right here and create a new layer. And I'm going to name it Cloning. And I'm going to use my healing brush for this. And I want to make sure this says current and below for my uh, sample because um, I'm going to be, I want to have my results on the blank layer I just created, uh, but I want uh, to be sampling from the lower layer below. And I'm going to tell it where. I'm going to click Option or Alt right here on the clean area of her skin here, and I'm going to take my brush size down by hitting my left bracket key right to go up in size and just brush over those little flaky areas right there. Just clean up a little bit of the little spots. And, and that looks pretty good. Uh, here I can turn my layer off and on and you see the difference there and when I'm happy with that I'm just going to flatten it. And she's got a tiny bit of redness um, like most newborns do and I'm going to run the Banish the red orange blotchies from Picture Perfect. And it's telling me to select the red area that I want to get rid of the color from. So I'm going to click right there. If I want to select, if I look here, wherever it turns white, that's the target areas it's going to hit. If I want to have it, uh, if I want to have it select more area than that, I can uh, choose the plus dropper right there and select on another area until it fills up more and I, that's too much for me so I'm going to hit undo. You can also move the fuzziness slider up and down so it, you know, that there you can see it's taking it way down so it's only like hitting very, very target areas. You can move it up and it's going to hit a broader range of areas. So I'm going to leave it right about there. I don't want too much taken out. If you run uh, too much red removal, you're going to get kind of a grayish look, and that's that's never pretty. Um, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to invert the mask on here. I'm going to hit Command on a Mac or Control on a, on a PC and I to invert the mask because I don't want it to go everywhere on this image. I'm just going to hit these little red areas right here. So my mask is black. That means nothing on that layer is showing up until I paint. I'm going to select my brush tool hit B on the keyboard to select your brush and then uh, make sure I have white and I'm just going to paint, I'm going to uh, take my brush opacity down a little bit and just paint over the areas where I want that effect to show up and because I don't want to remove the red everywhere on this image. It hit, you have to make sure when you're running this action it also um, will get the lips and red clothing and all of that so you want to make sure if you haven't inverted your mask that you are uh, painting back the areas like the lips and so forth with a black brush on your layer mask to make sure that you're not sapping the red out of those areas too. And so you can see hopefully you can see on the video, um, just a very subtle difference, getting a little bit of that red out. And I'm going to hit flatten. And I'm going to do a little, look at, we have a little accident that happened down here on daddy's shirt. So we are going to, I'm going to use the patch tool on that. So I'm going to create a copy of this layer. Command J creates a copy of the layer or control on a PC. And I'm going to select my patch tool. And I'm going to select most of that. You don't want to, when you're using a patch tool, if you get right up to the edge, it's not going to blend very well. So I'm going to hit the very edge in a minute with something, a different tool. So I'm going to take that and drag it over and see. Sometimes, you know, sometimes it doesn't see that. It did a pretty good job right there. And now I'm just going to take my patch tool and clean up the other areas there.
And so there is uh, all baby poop gone, and we're going to take our cloning tool and clean up the last little edge details here. I'm just going to uh, see. I'm going to move my opacity back up to 100% on that, and uh, just clean up those last little areas. I'm going to sample right here because this is a nice clean part of his arm right there, and sample and click right down the arm like this. Sample right there and click right next to that and clean up the edge areas. And when I'm here I'll clean up this little red mark on her leg. And see if there's any other little blemishes that need to be done. And take my patch tool again and I'm just going to this little crease here from nappy or whatever it might have been. Clean those up and that looks pretty good. And I might, you don't want it when you're doing cloning work you don't want to, you don't want any patterns repeating. You see how we have a, this pattern repeats twice and it's kind of obvious we did cloning work there so I like to kind of mix it up so it looks more natural down there. I'm going to select that whole area because all that cloning texture is kind of bothering me. I'm going to go all the way up here to this area here and then let's see how that looks. That looks a little bit more natural. Okay, so that, that's good enough for now. So that's uh, before and after and flatten. And I'm going to warm her up just a little bit. I'm going to select the warm me back up. Run that really quickly and lower the opacity on that a bit. And flatten. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to run uh, all together now from the Perkshire Perfect set again. It's an all in one workflow action. And it's going to probably be way too extreme for this newborn photo because it's already. Okay, so I'm going to drop that way down here and uh, maybe 35% before, after. Okay, and that looks pretty good. And we also have the option here to turn it black and white if we wanted to do black and white. We're going to leave it color for now. And then one last little thing. This is an action I love. I love running on newborn photos. In fact, I create it with newborn photos in mind called Whisper Very Softly and it's from the Blessing set. Okay, now the key to this action is paint the details and faces back in. Do not forget to do that or it'll look awful. Okay, so I'm going to select my black brush here and increase the size on that. And I've got it set up 70%. I'm going to set it to 100% to go over the eye areas, um, nose, so forth, the face. Um, and then I'm going to drop the opacity down. 55% and go back over the details in the hands and the hair and my husband's face there. And let's see here. I'm going to turn down this creamy light skin there because I don't want it to be too bright. And so there you have it. It just gives it a really nice soft feel that is really that is really beautiful on newborn photos you can see it just gives a very subtle you almost don't even know it's there but it's really effective on, on softening newborn photos that's a before and an after and I'm going to flatten that and that's it. So that's a pretty basic edit of a newborn photo. And we have the before and the after all cleaned up and softened and beautiful. And I hope that helped you. And I thank you for listening. And I hope you have a beautiful day.